image of excellence. You have to image yourself of excellence to be excellent. Unfortunately, in the world we live in, no one takes the time to find out what's on the inside without first judging the outside. You see, it's a little thing called life. Life is not only what you make of it, but it's also what God has in store for it. For example, if he wants you to be a tree, he will plant you in the ground and after watering you with his blessings, watch you go into a shrub. If you let the criticisms of others to stop your growth, he will plant you in the ground and watch you grow into a pine, tall, strong, beautiful, and filled with life. If you believe that God's favor is the nourishment for your roots. See, I know a tree that was planted in the ground, pierced with thorns, chopped down and left for dead, but his roots were still moist with God's favor. This tree rose once again to be my savior, and you might know him as Jesus, a man who bled and died for a blurry image just like you and me. I say with glory because we haven't received it by faith. By it, I mean our trials, our transgressions. You see, my desire and not what you desire me, my blessings and not the blessings you want me to receive, you see, my success. I image myself of excellence because I am excellent. Who cares what you think of this old shell of mine? This shell is not mine to keep. I am an image of God's favor, his anointed, and even when this old shell turns ashes to ashes and dust to dust, your opinion of me too shall perish. You, the backstabbers, the doubters, and the haters, you will know that I am excellent because I image myself of excellence. Thank you. Woo!